girls, this is my booty lift workout and I wanted to film it for you in the Heron Tower with the London backdrop and I'm a little bit scared of heights so I'm doing this for you girls. I'm going to be brave and if you're ready, let's go down. So we've got five seconds before the workout starts and that lift is going up as well as your booty. So you can see here the first move coming up, what we're going to be doing is we're taking the hip up to the side. So for this you're going tense, you squeeze the leg up then bring it behind. So you're squeezing it out to the side and then back. We're just doing 10 on this leg. Keeping that going and this works the bottom into a different range of movement which really helps lift and sculpt. Alright, so next move now. Those squats are going down because we're going to be doing 10 squats. So squeeze and push back up. What is really important to remember, whenever you're doing a squat, always make sure the knees stay behind the line of your toes. So we're just doing 10. So we squat low and come back up. That's good. So just go for doing a few more. Keep that going. Squat nice and low for me. All right, so you can see the next move coming up. We're going to go back to that first move and let's just work on the other leg. So you lift it up and then squeeze behind. So squeeze behind, lift. So it's what we call a bit of a lateral move, this. And this is just where it really helps lift and shape. We're just going for a few more, just 10 on this exercise. All right, and we're now going to get ready to go back to doing another set of 10 squats for me. So squat down and back. So this whole routine, we're alternating with one move, then we're doing 10 squats and we're changing to work the muscles through a different range of movement. That's good, let's just go for doing a few more. So squat low, then come back up, squat low, and then coming back up. Okay, so next move you can see here, we're just gonna be holding on to something for balance. And then what we're gonna do now, I want you just to lift the knee in front and squeeze behind. Keep the knee bent throughout this range of movement. You're gonna do 10 on one leg. And also, again, keep those tummy muscles pulled in. It just means it supports your back, but it also means it's toning into your waist. And also really squeeze that leg behind so you can feel that in the bottom. Okay, so now let's go back to doing our 10 squats. So we're going back down for 10 and squeeze. So let's take that 10 from now. That's good. Keeping that going. Squeeze down and push back up. So remember, again, always make sure you stick the bottom out as you squat down. So this is working one range of movement and this is where also now, that's why I'm mixing it in with different moves. So we're gonna target this area through every single range of movement. So let's get ready to do another 10 of these on the opposite leg. So you bring the knee in, then squeeze behind, bring it in and behind. So again, work here through your fullest range of movement. You'll feel that working into the glute as you squeeze that leg behind. You're just doing 10. Good, and then well done. Then we're going to get ready to do another set of those 10 squats. So come into position, feet are wider than hip width distance apart. Let's get ready and let's take that down for 10 and push back up. Take it down and back. Okay, that's good. And always make sure you squat as low as you can. So bend that deep and then come back up to standing. Good, all right, well done. Let's go a couple more. Then you've got a few seconds. You can see the next move coming up. So this time now, kick one leg straight. Alternate from leg to leg. We're just doing 10 of these. So again, now we're working the bottom, but working it through a different range of movement. And this is how we can really sculpt and lift and tone. All right, so now let's go back to those squats. Get ready, come back into position, and let's take that down for 10. And back, so we're squeezing that tight. Again, keep those toes slightly lifted so it just ensures all the weight's coming through the back of the legs, which just means then we're really working into those glutes. Okay, that's good. Let's just go a couple more. All right, well done. Last one. So now, look at the next move. Come into a split stance because we're going to be doing like a lunge on here. So you're going to lunge. And now what I want you to do is just pulse that for me for 10. And again, you can see here my knee, front knee, is way behind the line of my toes. That's what I want you to be doing as well. All right, and now let's get back. Before we do the other leg, let's just go for another 10 squats. We're doing loads of squats here, but squats are one of the best ways to really tone and lift and shape that booty. Okay, that's good. We're just going to go a few more. Keeping that going. Well done. That's good. And just last few two, 
and then one. All right, so now we're gonna change and go back to lunging on the opposite leg. So let's take that into position. So now bend that down and you're holding that there, pulsing that, just feeling that through the glutes. And again, we're just doing 10. So we're changing, mixing it up lots, but that's how we really get results. And let's get ready to take that back to your next set of 10 squats. So squat low, push back, squat low, and push back up. Keep all the weight through the heels, keep the toes slightly lifted, and back, pushing that through. Okay, that's good, excellent, well done. Let's just go another couple. All right, so next move, you can see here. So we're doing a squat and then we're doing a kickback. Again, we're gonna be doing 10 of these. So let's squat low, then squeeze that leg behind. We're gonna alternate from leg to leg on this one. Excellent, keeping that going. So squat low, squeeze behind, and squat, and squeeze behind. So it is all about the squats today, but that's what's gonna get us results. All right, so you know what's coming up next? Let's get ready to come into position, and I want you now to get ready to give me 10 more squats. That's good, squeeze that through, and back down. And each time, make sure you are squatting as low as you can. Come back up, keep the knees soft as you come back up. It's really important not to lock them out. Push it back. Okay, and then we've just got the last move. Now this one, you're gonna be side on, and you're just gonna lift that leg out to the side. Let's go for 10. So you lift it up, and if you need to, you can hold on to something for balance. We're just doing 10. Make sure that supporting leg, the knee is slightly bent. And try and lift that leg up as high as you can. All right, and let's just go for another set of 10 squats before we do the opposite leg. Okay, and let's take that 10, squeeze that through. So again, make sure you're squatting nice and low for me. Go low and then push back up. Keep those knees soft though as you extend back up. That's good, let's just go a couple more. Okay, all right, let's now come to that other leg. So get ready to come into position and we're gonna get ready to take that up for 10. So now let's lift and lower, lift it up and lower. So aim to lift that leg up as high as you can. Okay, so we're nearly done on this one. Let's just go for the last couple, lift it up, lower, and then we're done. All right, so the good news is the lift is going down and it is gonna stay down on this one. So let's just go for those last 10 squats. Squat that low and then push back up. Keep that going, that's good. Well done, squat low, extend, pushing that through and back. And well done, and we have reached the ground floor. So that is your booty lift workout complete. Don't forget to stretch. And then I had to share this bit with you, how I actually got stuck in the lift and couldn't work out how to get down. How do I go down? Oh my God. <laughs> well, I'm scared to press that. What one is it? Do you think it's that one? Okay, I'm stuck. <laughs> 